Hey everybody, this is Jeff from Great Heights and Barely Controlled Chaos. And today, I'm going to talk to you about some survival tips for living in a hotel. Specifically, I'm going to talk to you about if you've been here a while, you understand how bad hotel coffee is. So let me teach you a little trick that I picked up many nights in a hotel, many days in a hotel, on how to make a decent cup of coffee in your hotel coffee maker. First thing, um, if you are not a fan of Nathan Lowell, I'm going to suggest that you go out and become a fan of Nathan Lowell, and I will include a link in the description below to his books and stuff like that. But the first one, the first trick to making good coffee is having a clean coffee pot. Make sure you clean your coffee pot out really, really well. It's important um, if you can go out and buy a little thing of vinegar and run it through your coffee pot a couple of times, it'll make your coffee that much better. Even if it's one of these single cup things, trust me, it'll make a difference. All right, step number two is all about the coffee itself. If you have been in a hotel for any length of time, you know what I'm talking about, especially with hotels going to the little packs of, you know, single serve coffee. These are usually the lowest possible quality coffee you can get. They're awful, but there is one good thing that comes out of these packages. And that is this thing, okay? Now this thing, you're going to think, what the heck? That little tray. It's going to prevent splashing. Okay. You can try building a little coffee packet that will fit in this. Out of one of these, or a paper towel or something. And I really suggest getting these, because they're like 97 cents. You can, get, you can get a whole stack of them for a buck and a quarter. Something like that. Okay? And it's totally worth it. You can, like I said, you can build a little packet out of one of these. And... You can play with that if you want. Let me show you a trick that I've learned that I figured out how to make a decent cup of coffee. So, first thing, take this, put it back in your coffee machine. Obviously, dump that garbage coffee out. So, trash can's right behind me. Two points, wow. Anyway, <laughs> so, take that, throw it out. And then take this thing put it back in your coffee maker. All right, as I said, you want to take this and put it back in your coffee maker. That is going to help prevent splashing. Worst thing you want to do is have your coffee go splashing all over the place and lose half of it. Then, now I'm going to use this uh, plastic crystal goblet that I've got here. Um, I've tested it a couple of times, so I know that it works, but I really want a visual thing. So, But I highly suggest you use the coffee cups that come in the room because um, they're meant for this. Um, otherwise, you could end up with a big mess on your floor. And that's bad. So put your water in, obviously. And this is where the trick comes in. Take your coffee filter. Take your coffee filter right here. Put it into your cup. Now, this takes some gut feel for how far down it needs to go. Usually I go just about to my first knuckle all the way around. That gives it enough of a, of a place for the coffee to sit without it splashing out and enough place room for um, and enough overlap on the outside of the coffee cup because that's going to be very important. Now that you need to hold this in place because unlike with your home where you've got your filter basket, um, this will will either just slide right down in the coffee cup or slide out or, or half of it will slide. So the trick is you take a rubber band. Now I have a little fancy thing that I've got, um, but you just use a rubber band and you put it around the outside like this. And now that holds it in place well. I missed half of it. That's not true. I've been doing this for three weeks and I still missed half of it when I did this, this demonstration. So, anyway, so around the outside like that. Then you want to take a couple teaspoons of your favorite coffee. Take a couple teaspoons of your favorite coffee. And this is just a generic 
um, better grade coffee than what I have in the hotel. And I'll put a couple of teaspoons in here, a couple of leaf, heaping teaspoons. Now obviously, you can figure out strong, not strong. Most blends actually say about two teaspoons per cup. Obviously, you can choose what you want to do. Then that's it. That's really it. The only other tricky part is at the end, and I'll show you that in a minute. So I'm going to go ahead and turn the time lapse on because otherwise you're just watching Coffee Brew live, and that's not exciting. And then that'll be it. <laughs> So that's pretty much it. I mean, really, uh, it's obviously a nice cup of coffee here. The really tricky part now is taking this off now. Um, the way I've found it works best for me is just slide the rubber band off because there's enough cohesion here usually. Take the rubber band off. There's still enough cohesion with the wet cloth here. Just want to take this up. Squeeze that last drop or two in there. Drop it in. Careful not to burn yourself like I just did. But anyway, that's it. That's all you have to do. Um, and it does make a much better cup of coffee than you're going to get with that little filter pack thing. Trust me. Um, again, nothing spectacular, but it is something to be uh, thankful for. A good cup of coffee in your hotel room. Very important. And really, um, especially if you're on a budget, you know, this whole thing of coffee cost me probably, what, two or maybe three cups of coffee would have cost me if I'd gone to, you know, one of the major chains. Um, and, the, like I said, the filters were $1.50 or something like that and the rubber band. You, you just can't, you can't go wrong as far as being on a budget for this, too. So. And, like I said, a good cup of coffee. Uh, well. If you enjoyed this, uh, I know it wasn't anything spectacular or anything mind-blowing or anything like that, but, you know, it, still, if you enjoyed it, please uh, like and comment below. And uh, if you want to see more from us or from me, go and um, subscribe up above. So, thank you very much, and we'll see you next time.